What's up guys, we're here at All Things Aquarium. Let's check out the fish. All right, so let's start off here with uh, some of the fish. You can see some beautiful fish. Look at these sail fins and there was a hawk fish there. Look at that guy. Got some tangs, beautiful. Check out these guys. Look at that guy, that's awesome. Some more beautiful fish. Look at these guys. Check out that wrasse, guys. And then there is a Coral Beauty in the back. It seems like it's a different variant. It's very beautiful. Some more tangs. Some more Chromis. Look at this guy, long nose Butterfly. Beautiful. This is awesome. Look at this goby. <laughs> I love how they dig their homes and stuff like that. That is super awesome. Really unique. Look at this Coral Beauty angelfish right here. Beautiful coloration. Another one. Got Flame Angel. Look at these, these are so cool. This was probably my favorite tank at the shop, just with all the rock and the color, and you know, the clownfish look really great in this tank. But what I love the most is the green. The green is just spectacular. Love this tank, super awesome looking. We got some more fish here on another rack. Very colorful. You know, we all know that about saltwater fish. Very colorful fish. Here's the Hawaii State fish. Shout out to Hawaiian Peacock, Brother Mel. Check it out, dude. Got some more. Another clownfish. We got a tang in there. This guy's beautiful. Kind of freaking out a bit. Look at that color. Look at those. Checking out some of the coral now. Oh man, I love. You feel yeah, the hammers and the torches and the frog spawn. Oh, they're my favorite. This is one of their display tanks in the shop. You can see that uh, it's got some nice coral and some nice fish. There was a purple tang in there. And uh, let's pan out here. You can see there is a hippo tang, a bunch of small guys, another type of tang. A lot of really nice fish in this aquarium. Checking out some more of the coral. Really beautiful. I know I keep saying beautiful, but it's the truth. It's just so nice. They look fantastic. Really stunning. And again, the green, I just love the green coral. It looks so nice under the lighting. Just looks so, so nice. Here is some SPS coral. Got a bunch of that in these tanks over here. Again, the green. I just, I always go to the green coral. I just think they're just something else. 
Got that. Did you guys see that file? Look at that file fish right there. Again, look at the green, guys. I know I keep saying it, but man, I love it. And then this is their main display in the shop. It is just fish. You can see some really big, big fish in this tank. Beautiful. Look at that angel. Man. Awesome. Awesome shop. Yeah, guys. Bag of fish. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, we're back with more fish. What we need to do here, take some of the water out of the tank, because obviously when you float the bags for acclimation, we don't want overflowing to happen. So I'll go ahead and get some of this water out. Six fish, guys, six saltwater fish. Let's rock and roll. Acclimating away, guys. And then I had to have one in here that is from the tank, so the water temperature is gonna be fine. It's gonna help that water bag temperature come up let's do it guys it is time to get some fish into the tank we're gonna start off with this one since air came out of this one we want to make sure that he gets in there first he or she it there we go Oh, beautiful. Wow. First one, guys. Six line wrasse. Here we go. Next. Hey, that's fine. Come on, guys. There you go. Long nose hawkfish. All right, who's next? Who's next? Yeah, gonna go for this guy next. There we go. Fire shrimp, guys. Come on. Let go, buddy. Let it go. There you go. All right. We got the next one. Let's take a look here. Come on. You didn't want to come out of the bag. Starry Blenny. Here. There we go. Next. Oops. There we go. Check out this guy, Aptasia eating file fish. So I want things to be smooth in here for the new fish, obviously. So I'm gonna go ahead and scoot this thing back. And start doing some changes. All right, so I wanna add this extra rock that I had from the show tank, something to create more areas uh, for these fish since it is a smaller aquarium. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and move this back a little bit and then I don't want him to get stuck on in there Gotta get out there bud get out there you go we want this to go in here Now we're going to add this guy and see if they'll be able to be okay or if I'm going to have to use that critter cage, which I feel like I'm going to. Oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness, guys. 
purple tang. The basket, which probably is the best idea. So we got the purple tang inside here. Not gonna risk this beautiful fish to get eaten up or destroyed by the other ones. Just not gonna happen. So I decided to let the purple tang out of the critter cage to see how it would react with the other two yellow tangs. And so far so good. I'm gonna just keep an eye on it. And if I need to, I got the critter cage to put it in. All right, so I'm gonna show you them in the bags just in case they're hiding later. So we got a fire shrimp, nice size, looking awesome. We got a starry blenny. I'm taking a risk. I got a purple tang. Aptasia eating file fish. A long nose hawk fish. and a six line ras. I'm loving the new pickups guys. Oh man, they're gonna be super epic when they're in the 120 uh, going through that QT process. Those super important to me uh, just to monitor the fish in case there's any sicknesses, but we got some beautiful saltwater fish in here and an amazing shrimp. That, that fire shrimp is just something else, just beautiful. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. What do you guys think of the fish? If you could comment, like, share subscribe hit that notification bell that would be awesome and i would love to know what you guys think of the new pickups stay tanked